Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue. At WWF Wrestling Challenge, which is a 1990s era board game from the WWF. Now, this is a mass market game. Don't expect too much. I actually feel like the previously uh, released Wrestling Superstar game is superior to this. And you never thought after playing that game you would say another game is superior to it, but it is actually better than Wrestling Challenge in a lot of ways. So in this one, you're going to get a board. You're going to have the Ultimate War, Hulk Hogan. You're going to have the Earthquake, which is huge at the time, and Rick the Model Martel, who, to me, was a marginal AWA champion. Very good, but he doesn't fit what's going on here. you got Mr. Perfect and Rick the Model Martel. So what are you doing on this? Really what you're doing is you're going to have two people. move. You're going to have roll dice and move around the board, and then you're going to have two wrestlers in the ring, and you're each going to roll a die and see who rolls higher. Now, there is a possibility to add a card to your roll, and there's a little bit of hand management, I suppose, that can be added into that, but it's fairly obvious when you need to go for that win, I guess. And you're trying to get a one, two, three on your opponent, and if you're able to do that, then they're eliminated for the match. Now, this game should definitely have been named WWF Survivor Series, because you get a team of wrestlers, and by one by one, you're eliminating the wrestlers from the side. Last man standing with wrestlers on their side, and none on yours is the winner. Now, it does have an interesting aspect of roll and move around the board. Does that excite you? Because you can move either way. If that did not excite you, then this game may not be for you. If you like putting two pictures of WWF wrestlers in the center and rolling a die and see who rolls higher, you are going to be super excited with this game. Otherwise, you are going to hate it. This is not a very good game. I cannot believe this is all they came up with, but this is a product of its time, right? Mass market games were not something that you were looking for interesting decisions. It was, oh, it has my favorite, it has Hulk Hogan on the cover. Let's pick this up and take it home to the boy or the girl, right? That's what you were doing in this time period, and that's the game that you're going to get. So, total miss, total no interesting decisions, nothing. You kind of go where the dice tell you to go, and the game kind of plays itself. So, this one's on rails, right out the door. Not a very good game. I hate to say it, but if you're looking for that 1990s WWF action, this might be one of your better decisions. Purge for us. Here is WWF Wrestling Challenge game. Has a really striking box, actually. If you like wrestling from this era, it's really cool. The only one that's kind of doesn't fit in is maybe the model. But I really feel like this game should have been called the Survivor Series. We're going to open this up, and then we're going to get a splash of the 90s here. So there's a ring in the middle, and then you have just like stock photos of... All of the wrestlers are WWF superstars. You're going to get the old-fashioned box here with some great artwork for this time. If you notice, it's not the same artwork being used over and over and over again. Inside of here, you're going to get these pawns that don't have anything on it. It's kind of weird. You're going to get uh, some dice of different colors and some belts. WWF winged belt, which is nice with different colors on the back. These power cards here are going to be a little bit generic. They're pretty cheaply made. It just says a wrestling power slam, flying body press, no artwork whatsoever. And then you're going to have pictures of the wrestler. So instead of standees or miniatures, back then they just gave you a picture. You're going to get a few wrestlers in here. Let me show you what they are. You get Mr. Perfect, Jake the Snake, Rick the Model Martel, who's just called the model here, the Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase, uh, Big Boss Man, the Ultimate Warrior, Macho King, Randy Savage, Hawk. Hogan and Earthquake himself. So those are the guys that you'll have in the game. Components are mass market garbage. So here's the rule book for the game. It's printed on black and white. You have it on the back, how to win the game. But look at mine. Completely blank inside. I don't think this is a copy. I just think nothing was printed. So the rules are fine. I went online and found them. Uh, no pictures, no examples, etc. But the game is fairly easy to understand. You might need maximum three to five minutes to read through this, and you'll be playing in no time. So you're going to put the board in the center of the table, and you're going to shuffle these up. And based on the number of players, you're going to get a number of wrestlers. I'm just going to kind of show you kind of how to play. You're going to shuffle up the power card deck, and each wrestler, not each player, is going to get a power card. So each wrestler is going to get one power card. Each player will get to three championship belts in their color, and these will signify what you're doing during the game. 
And these will be the three belts that you have. If you're playing with four players, you put the markers out on one of your wrestlers uh, you would have randomly assigned to you at the beginning of the game. You just put them on your turn, you roll one of the six-sided die. Let's say I'm rolling for orange. I can move either way. I can move this way, or I could move counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you would stop and perform what's ever on that action. If it says draw a card, you simply draw a card from the top of the deck, and you can sign it to any one of your wrestlers you want. There may be a strategic purpose for you going to that one person. If you land on the challenge space, you can challenge any wrestler, of course, not one of your own, of your opponents and you would go into the ring and you would wrestle. The same thing would occur if you land on somebody who's not in the game because maybe there's an odd number of wrestlers, you would just ignore it. Or if you landed just on Jake the Snake and Jake the Snake is not one of your wrestlers, then you would fight them. So let's say Mr. Perfect is one of my wrestlers. I happen to land on Jake the Snake. All fights are determined the same way. On your turn, the challenger can choose first if they want to play a power card or not. So let me show you an example. I would play a power card of five. Let's say Mr. Perfect wants to do a power card and Jake the Snake Roberts does not. So what we'll do is we'll roll the dice. Jake's going to roll a three. Mr. Perfect's going to roll five. So you add five and a four is a nine. Jake the Snake get a three. So that would be one victory for Mr. Perfect. This would go away. And you could once again choose if you're going to use a power card or not. Let's say you do not. Just roll the dice. Whoever wins gets the other wrestling championship. And when you have three championships, one, two, three, you have defeated the person. If you defeat the person, this goes back in the box. They no longer have access to him. You would come back and get Mr. Perfect back, and you would draw a power card for your troubles. The last player with any cards left, once you eliminate everybody else, and the last one standing, your team, let's say he had Mr. Perfect in the model, would be the winners of the game. You just want to eliminate everybody else. So who should buy this game? If you're a collector or a real big fan of 1990s WWF and you want a board game based on it, this is going to hit the market for you. I'm not sure that most little kids maybe in the market for a WWF game would even know what WWF is, right? Because it's WWE now. Do they know who Earthquake was? Mr. Perfect? Jake the Snake Roberts? Are they kind of... I don't know if that's still in the vernacular of these kids nowadays. I would guess not. So this is going to be strictly for a time period. I cannot see a bunch of adults sitting down and playing this. Perhaps, maybe as a lark or a nostalgic feeling that you want from looking at the pictures and the different wrestlers. I totally get that and understand that. But the game itself is not there. You're going to get bored fairly quickly. It does move fast. Should have been called Survivor Series, but it's a purge unless you want to keep it just for nostalgic purposes. I can understand that.